Hi everyone, in this short video, we are going to show you how you can create snow configuration items using device data pulled from ZDX using APIs. So at a high level, what we're going to do is we are going to iterate through all the devices which are there in ZDX, collect host name, CPU, whatever information you are interested in, which is available in the ZDX API and then go to service now and create a configuration item in the CMDB. So to look at uh, high level, what we're going to do, we are going to, again, as we mentioned, get the entire list of devices. Uh, here's the snow URL, which will be accessed. If you notice, uh, we are accessing the CMDB CI PC hardware table in which we will be creating the CI entries. We, will, we are then uh, going through the individual device details from ZDX and fetching in some interesting information in this case, say host name and CPU. You can fetch other information as well. And then after that, we are reaching out to ServiceNow and creating a configuration item there. Once the configuration item, the CI is created, we print the output with the sys id of the ci which we will later use to validate if our output uh, was correct or not so let's go ahead and run this program so what's happening here is here's an example of the url which you will be able to access later but then uh, we fetch the device id from zdx and then we pull the host name information for that device id we also pulled in the CPU information, but I'm not printing that here. And then with that information, we went ahead and created a configuration item in Snow uh, for which Snow responded us with this SysID. So when you see this SysID, it means your um, CI creation was successful. Now let's go ahead and validate if our um, attributes which we wanted to update in service now were updated as well or not. So we'll go ahead and copy this CI, uh, the sysid, access the URL here, and change this to the sysid which we just got. So a uh, few things to note here. Here's the CPU information which we populated in the ServiceNow CI, uh, CMDB uh, database. Uh, this is basically what we pulled from ZDX. So this information is coming in from ZDX. Next, uh, I have used the attribute field uh, to fill in the ZDX device ID. Uh, just uh, as a proof of concept, you could use this field for something else as well. And then last but not the least, we have the host name. Again, if you see here, there are other uh, details like uh, CPU, vendor, model number, you would be able to pull uh, this information from ZDX and be able to populate that here as well. I hope this was helpful and thank you for viewing.